Legends say that a ferocious river monster lives in the waters right below us. And I'm going to find it. No! I'm not scared! Ah! What was that? Oh! Oh! Um, I think we should go back, Pico! Aha! This must be causing all the engine troubles. Seaweed? It must have gotten stuck in there during our last underwater mission. That's it! Platypus 1 is fixed! I hope so. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Pail. What's going on? Hi, Leo! I'm stuck in the middle of a river, and there's a giant monster fish in the water! A giant monster fish? Whoa! It does look scary! I don't know, Leo. We can't see it clearly. Let's clean up the image on the computer. Good idea, Katie. I'm right behind you. Peyo, stay with us on the line. Sure, Leo. I can't go anywhere else. See you later, hero! <laughs> Enhancing image, and there! Ooh, it's just a bunch of small fishes. There's no giant river monster at all. You can jump into the water and swim to shore, Peo. Oh, no river monster, huh? Okay then, I can swim to the shore. Thanks, Leo. Hmm, I wonder what type of fishes they are. The fishes in the water are red-bellied piranhas. <gasps> they have razor-sharp teeth and powerful jaws that enable them to bite down with great force. Oh, no! Peo, get out of the water! Huh? What? Oh, I haven't jumped in yet. Okay, that's good. Because red-bellied piranhas swim and hunt in groups called a shoal, which can include more than a hundred piranhas. More than a hundred? That's a lot. Oh, no! Please come get me! Of course, Peo. Stay put and we'll be right over. Thanks, Leo. See you soon. Ranger out! Ranger out. Come on, Katie. Let's go save Peo from piranha-infested waters. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Let's see where Peo is. We're close! Peo and Pico should be around here somewhere. There they are! Peo! Pico, we're here! Leo! Katie! I'm so glad you found us! Good to see you, Peo. Reach for my hand and climb aboard! <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Ah! Oh no! Hey! I got you, Peo! Phew! <laughs> I'm okay! That was close! What is it, Hero? <gasps> There's a piranha on your back, Peo! Ah! Get off my back! Shoot! Ah! Leo, it's over there! Get it! Get it! I know! I'm trying to grab it! Come here, piranha! Peo, stop! You can't use your bare hands! It could bite you! Oh, yeah! Oh, no! Ah! Get away from me! I'll get it! Ugh. Watch out, hero! <laughs> Gone? I think so. Hero, are you okay? <laughs> that was scary! Huh? What's that sound? Is it a snake? 
<gasps> no, it's worse. Platypus One is sinking. We're sinking. Ah! Oh, no. What should we do? Quick, Leo, activate submarine mode. Right, I'm on it. Platypus One, activate. really see where we're going. The water's so murky. Switch on the lights, Leo. Oh, right. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yikes! The piranhas are following us! <laughs> ah! Let's use flight mode. They can't follow us if we're in the air. Flight mode, activate. Huh? Uh, it's not working. Oh, no! Platypus One must still be broken. Come on, come on, work! Rangers. Ranger Rocky? I got it. Back into the water you go. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. I thought we'll get attacked by the piranha for sure. They are river monsters. I don't know about that, but it was really scary. Actually, piranhas are not as scary as you may think, Junior Rangers. Red-bellied piranhas have a reputation for being aggressive and fearsome. But that's not exactly true. If we don't mess with them, they tend to leave people alone. In fact, red-bellied piranhas usually eat prey that are already dead. While it's an advantage to hunt in packs, this behavior of traveling in groups is actually due to their fear of predators. Red-bellied piranhas may not be cute and cuddly, but they are also not the monsters that TV shows and movies make them out to be. We've misunderstood them. I guess we just have to be careful around the red-bellied piranhas. That's right. Stay away and don't provoke them. <sighs> Since there is no ferocious river monster, can we go home now? I'm really tired. Sure, Peo. But first, we need to fix Platypus One. It's been acting up all day. I can help with that, Junior Rangers. Leave it to me. There. This should be enough to get you home. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. All right, Junior Rangers. I've got to collect more animal droppings for my research. See you around. Goodbye, Goodbye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. See ya. Bye-bye. What a day. Let's go home. Okie dokie. Platypus One, activate. to know that there are no river monsters here. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to rescue Peo and learned that red-bellied piranhas are not monsters. <gasps> what was that? Katie, what are you doing? <gasps> Leo, I'm still trying to fix Platypus One. Can you come help me? Nah, you don't need my help. You seem to have it all under control. You can handle it, Katie. What? You're going to let me do it all alone? Sorry, Katie. I'm busy. <gasps> <laughs> Just kidding. I'll come down right away. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <coughs> What's the matter, Hero? Are you hungry? Here you go. I don't think he's hungry, Leo. What do you want, Hero? What are you trying to say? Speak. What does Arf mean? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. How are you? 
Hey, Leo, I've done it! The greatest invention on Earth! No, the universe is complete! Whoa, slow down, Kai. What invention? I invented an animal translator! It translates animal language into people language so we can finally understand animals! That's amazing! What are you going to do with it? Well, I've always wanted to crack the code of the Humpback Whale song. I'll finally know what they're singing about. Humpback Whales? Cool! Would you guys like to join me? You'd be the first to watch my translator in action. Of course, that'd be awesome. Cool beans. I'll share my location with you. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. All right. Let's look for more information about the humpback whales before we leave. Sounds like a plan. See you later, hero. Humpback whale. Here it is. It seems that humpback whales are huge. An adult humpback whale is 12 to 16 meters long. That's roughly the length of an average school bus. And it weighs about 40,000 kilograms. That's almost the weight of six African elephants. While both the male and female humpback whales produce sounds, the males are known to sing loud, long, and complex melodies. And thanks to Kai's animal translator, we are going to find out exactly what they're singing about. Let's head out to find Kai. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus one, activate. Here we go. Thanks for coming, guys. So how does your animal translator work, Kai? It's really simple. I'll show you. You're going to be so impressed. Hero, speak. <laughs> and that automatically translates into... I love you, Katie. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I love you too, Leo. You guys are my best friends. Aww. Aww. We love you too, Hero. What about me, Hero? Do you love me too? Potato! Huh? Uh, I'm sure it's just a little bug. <laughs> I'll have it fixed in no time. Do you guys hear that? Over there! Humpback whales! Whale, whale, whale! It's a pot of humpback whales! I can't believe he just jumped out of the water like that. That's called breaching. It's when a whale jumps out of the water and crashes back down. Humpback whales tend to jump higher and more often than other whales. These whales are way cooler than I imagined. I can't believe I'm really here. Now I'll finally get to know what the whales are singing about. I bet they're saying something really cool, like... The location of sunken treasure, or... The answer to the mysterious Bermuda Triangle? Okay, guys. Moment of truth. What exactly are the whales singing about? Marco! Bella. What? That can't be right. Let me try this again. One potato, two potato, three potato, four potato. Potatoes? Not again! Don't forget to bring the onions! Onions? I don't think that's what the whale is actually saying, Kai. No, it can't be! My animal translator is supposed to be perfect! Hang on, guys. I can totally fix this. Hey, did you see the size of that fish I caught? Oh boy, here we go again. Carrot ketchup on your stick. Huh? Oh no, I can't make it stop. It's translating everything. Hi, I'm a fish. Well, at least you know your translator works. Jumpin' rabbits, orange muffins are cool. 
<laughs> it works sometimes. Oh, how do I make it stop? Oh! Oh! Is everybody all right? I'm fine. Oh, okay, here. Wait, where's Hero? Hero! 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 Hero, where are you? I'm inside a whale. A, a whale? whale? Let me confirm this. I just have to connect to his camera and done. Wow, that's the inside of a whale? It's the inside of a whale's mouth, to be precise. Ranger, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Do not worry, Junior Rangers. Hero will be just fine. Humpback whales don't have teeth. They can only swallow things whole. They may have big mouths, but their throats are pretty small, around the size of a grapefruit. That's why humpback whales can only eat food that's small, like krill and anchovies. He's right. I'm okay, guys. That's a relief to hear. But we can't leave him in there forever. We've got to find a way to get him out. Well, we'll have to find out which whale he's in first. I'm not going inside any whale's mouth. Maybe we won't have to. Since humpback whales like to sing, we can use their singing to find Hero. How? Hero, we're going to ask the whales to sing for us one at a time. If you're inside the whale that's singing, you should be able to feel the whale rumbling. When that happens, give us a shout. You got it. That's a great idea, Leo. I just hope it works. Excuse me, humpback whales? We've lost our dog and we hope you can help us. They don't understand what we're saying. Not to worry, Junior Rangers. I'll get the whales to sing. Ooh. How did you do that, Ranger Rocky? I speak whale. That's so cool. Do you feel any rumbling, Hero? Potatoes. I think that's a no. I feel it. This is the whale. We found him. Hero is in its mouth. Now, all we have to do is get the whale to open its mouth. Hero! You're all right! Thank goodness you're okay. Thank you for saving me, guys. I love you. I wonder what they're singing about this time. Please exit in an orderly manner. <laughs> the songs of the humpback whales sure are beautiful, but I think I like them better when I don't know what they're singing about. Me too. Is that Hero? There he goes again. I wonder what he's saying. Let's find out. Kai shared his animal translator technology with me. Do, do, do. I'm a great big dog. Yes, I am. Ruff, ruff. Yeah. <laughs> He's been singing all this time. Woo! Woo yeah! Wow. <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Shh. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Katie. Take <gasps> that, Leo. A sneak attack. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Watch this! Whoa! Oh, no you don't! You can't escape me! <gasps> My glasses! Oops! Sorry, Katie! Oh, no! Where did they go? <laughs> Here they are! Your glasses! Thanks, Leo! Oh, thanks, Hero! I can't see a thing without my glasses! Oh, time out! Hi, Junior Ranger Farah. What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm studying about mangroves, but... Ah! Someone is shooting water at me! Whoa! That's weird. 
Can you see who's doing it? I tried, but I can't see anyone. There's nothing in my handbook about dealing with an invisible water shooting prankster. What do I do? <gasps> no. No! How dare you? Nobody shoots water at my handbook. Nobody. <gasps> <clears throat> Don't worry, Farah. We'll get to the bottom of this. Hurry, Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's go help Farah. Sounds like a job for our water guns. Come, hero. <laughs> water gun, check. Ranger Leo, all set. <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus One, activate. Here we Here go. We go. Farah? Farah! Psst! Over here, guys! Why is Farah hiding behind that tree? Uh oh. It's the invisible prankster! Take cover! Ah! Ah! Hero, over here! I got you! Hero, is he okay? Stay with us, Hero! <laughs> He's all right. Just have to dry him up a little. How about you guys? Phew. All good here. Me too. So, who's shooting at us? What is that? Huh? It's a fish? Huh? What are you doing, Leo? It's a fish. A fish is shooting at us. A fish? The fish won't understand you, Leo. Just talk normally. Right. Well then. Huh? Oh, never mind. Over there. <laughs> wow, a spitting fish. Now I've seen everything. Say cheese. I sent you a photo of the fish, Katie. Do you know what it is? The spitting fish is an archer fish. Archer fish catch bugs and insects by spitting water jets at them. Sometimes the archer fish even jumps out of the water to catch them midair. Archer fish have great eyesight and they can hit targets up to two meters high. They're no quitters either. If at first they don't succeed, they'll spit, spit, and spit again. But if an archer fish spits to catch bugs, why is this archer fish spitting at us? A cricket? Over here! Oh, I think the archer fish is just trying to catch this cricket. But it's not very good at it. Well, from what we just learned, the archer fish will get the cricket soon. Let's wait and see. Um, any minute now. Its aim was way off. Oh, no. Is there any way we can help it? <gasps> Not my glasses. I need them to see. Oh, I have an idea. The archer fish probably can't aim very well because its eyesight is bad, just like mine. It needs a pair of glasses. Are you sure they'll fit? Positive. There. Aw, it looks like one smart fish. But why is it sinking? Oh, no. I think the glasses are too heavy for the fish, Katie. Hmm. What if we used a lighter frame? Or maybe its eyesight is not the problem. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what do you mean, Ranger Rocky? The archer fish sees just fine. It's just not a very good hunter yet. Yet? Shooting at bugs that live outside the water is pretty tricky business because things look different from underwater. Every archer fish needs to learn how to aim properly. It's not something they can do right away. When a young archer fish starts hunting, it's not very good at it, at first. But after watching other archer fish and practicing, 
It gets better at aiming and shooting. All it needs is more practice. More practice. Well, the Junior Rangers are here to help. We'll teach the Archer Fish how to aim and shoot perfectly. I'm sure you'll do great. Good luck, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Junior Rangers. But how are we going to teach an archer fish to shoot? With a little shooting practice, of course. The most important thing to remember when you're trying to hit something is to stay cool and relaxed. See the target. Be one with the target. See the target. Be one with the target. See the target. Be one with the target. Awesome! My turn! Ooh! Woohoo! Oh yeah! One more! Whoa! <laughs> Show off! See? Just be cool! Now you try it! even get to me. Whoa! My handbook! Ah! No! <gasps> You've got to stay cool, remember? Take a deep breath, then go for it. I know you can do it. All right! Way to go! You did it! <laughs> that was amazing! Like the wind, hero. <laughs> Ready to try a moving target this time? On your mark, get set, go! Just keep going. You're doing great. Come on, just take a deep breath. You can do it. Yes! Yes! All right! I think it got the hang of it. Then let's up the difficulty. Hero, time to take this to the next level. <laughs> cool! Look at it go! All right! Huh? Hey, where's it going? The target's that way! Our bags! Put that down! You saved our stuff! Thank you! You're an expert now, aren't you? There's nothing more to teach you, Archer Fish. Bye, Bye Archer, Archer Fish! Fish. <laughs> Good luck! Mission accomplished! I'm glad we taught the Archer Fish to shoot properly. No more water shootings in the mangroves from now on. Ah! <laughs> Not another sneak attack! Whoa! <laughs> Watch out, Katie. It's a showdown. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs> this looks like a great spot to scuba dive. Let's gear up and get in the water. I'll go get the scuba diving gear. <laughs> and I'll check the water conditions. I'll help you, Katie. Yep, that feels about right. It's definitely the perfect temperature for a dip. It says here that the temperature of the water is 24.3 degrees Celsius. That's pretty optimal. The tidal conditions are ideal, too. That's exactly what I said. I can't seem to find your scuba gear, Hero. Can you see if it's in the front? Hero, now's not the time for a dance party. Did someone say dance party? Watch this. I call this the crab. Well, I call this the worm. <laughs> what about the dolphin? <laughs> Good one, Kyle. What about you, Katie? Would you like to show us your dance moves? No, thanks. I'm good. <laughs> 
Hey, seahorses! Is that another one of your dance moves? No, real seahorses. Come over and take a look, guys. It seems as if the seahorse is chasing another seahorse around. <gasps> Could it be a bully? Hmm, but we don't know anything about the seahorse. Let's find out more about it. I just sent you a photo of the seahorse, Katie. I'm already on it, Leo. It seems the seahorse is a big belly seahorse. It's one of the biggest seahorses in the world. The male big belly seahorse has a smooth belly while the female's belly is more pointed. So the male big belly seahorse is chasing the female big belly seahorse? Hmm, but she isn't exactly running away from him. She waits for him to catch up. I don't think he's bullying her. She's not scared of him. She wants to play with him. But why does she want him to chase her? Oh, I know. Excuse me, Mr. Seahorse. Are you two in love? Oh. Would you like us to help you win her heart? I think that's a yes. All right, let's do it. There they are. We're going in first, Katie. Sure, Leo. Catch you later. Sleeping Dolphin. Come in, Sleeping Dolphin. We're approaching the whale. Huh? What are you talking about? Those are cool code names I came up with. Your Sleeping Dolphin and the Big Belly Seahorse is the whale. I think he just meant to say we're approaching them right now, Katie. Oh, it's amazing how she dodges him every time. Does she have eyes in the back of her head, Sleeping Dolphin? Almost, Kyle. Big belly seahorses, like other seahorses, have eyes that move independently of each other. This means that they can look in any direction. Wow, that's so cool. What if we tried impressing her instead? In the wild, it's all about being the strongest and fastest animal. How fast can you swim, Mr. Seahorse? I don't think he can swim very fast, Kyle. His fins are too little. Is there a way we can help him swim faster then? Oh, I have an idea. But we're gonna need Hero's jetpack. <coughs> oh, Hero, we're not going to take your jetpack away from you. In fact, we're gonna need your help. Hang on tight, Mr. Seahorse. I think he went a little too fast. How else can we help him? Some animals use colors to attract a mate. Maybe we should try decorating Mr. Seahorse with different colors. Yeah, it'll be like a makeover. You look dashing, Mr. Seahorse. I hope she'll be impressed when she sees you this time. I don't know, guys. Don't you think it's too much? It'll be fine, Leo. She's right over there. Go on, show off your beautiful new colors. Uh-oh, that was too much seaweed. She doesn't even recognize him anymore. Oops, so much for attracting her with colors. Oh no, the female seahorse wasn't attracted, but that crab sure is. It's all our fault. We'll have to distract the crab. I got it. What are you doing, Leo? Crabs are attracted to light. Hey, crab, over here. Whoa, he's pretty fast. Thanks, hero. It's OK. 
okay, Mr. Seahorse. The coast is clear now. He looks so sad. The path to true love never runs smooth. Or maybe you're just on the wrong path. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. It's true that lots of animals use either speed, strength, or colors to attract a mate, but the big belly seahorse just isn't one of them. To find a mate, they dance. Dance? That's right, Junior Rangers. Male big belly seahorses attract females with a courtship dance, where the seahorses swim with each other, waggle their fins, and entwine their tails. So that's what the seahorse was trying to do earlier. He was just trying to dance. All he needs is a little music for him to show off his moves. I know just how we can arrange that. Underwater dance party! He's feeling the music! They're going to start a family. The female seahorse will put her eggs into a pouch in the male seahorse's belly. It's the male seahorse that gives birth to cute little seahorse babies. Ah, goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Mr. Seahorse. seahorse. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to help the seahorses get together. Look, Kyle just sent us a video. Wow. Baby seahorses! And there are so many of them! Do you hear that? <coughs> Is it time for a dance party, hero? <coughs> Count me in! Katie, would you like to join us? Sure, Leo! <coughs> <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Are you ready, Leo? Of course, Katie. No one beats me at guess the animal. Okay, first animal. What am I? Easy, a chicken. Next. A tiger. Arf, arf, arf. Uh, um, uh, a mouse? Huh, a hero? Time's up! It's a dog! A dog! Oh, how could I have missed that? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. I'm compiling a list for my Junior Ranger handbook, and I need your help. Sure thing, Farah. What's the list about? Have you heard of the Mimic Octopus? A Mimic Octopus? Mimic is another word for copy. I want to compile a list of animals that the Mimic Octopus mimics. Here's a photo of it. It looks like an ordinary octopus. But it can disguise itself to look like another animal. It's really tricky to spot, and I need your help to find it. You can count on us. We'll be right over. Excellent. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. I want to know more about this tricky octopus. Me too. See you later, hero. <laughs> the Mimic Octopus. The Mimic Octopus can be found in shallow, murky waters of the Indo-Pacific region. In its original form, it is light brown in color. But the Mimic Octopus is a master of disguise. It can change its appearance and behavior to look like other animals. Wow, I hope we get to see its transformations. Only if we find the octopus first. Let's go meet Farah and help her find it. See you downstairs. 
Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we, go. we go! Bara to Leo, over. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Awesome. Once you find the Mimic Octopus, tell me everything it mimics. I'll write it down in my handbook. You got it, Farah. Now remember, the Mimic Octopus can be anything. So keep your eyes wide open. Don't worry, I won't be fooled. Aha! I bet this is a Mimic Octopus disguised as a... Uh... An anemone? <gasps> that was fast. Anemone. Anemones are marine creatures that look like flowers and are related to corals. That's not a mimic octopus, Leo. It's a real anemone. Oops, <laughs> you're right, Katie. Sorry, Farah, false alarm. That was not a mimic octopus disguised as an anemone. It's not? Okay, no anemone then. Let's look somewhere else. <laughs> what did you find, Hero? Huh? A rock? Ooh, a rock? And I thought the Mimic Octopus only mimicked animals. Rock. Obviously, it's a real rock, Hero. False alarm again, Farah. So no rock? Well, okay then. Hmm, it's getting a bit messy. Whoa, check that out. Is it a fish? I can't tell without my tablet. What is it? Let me see. I'll send you a photo of it. Here, can you tell what it is? I think I saw it somewhere in my book. <gasps> it's a lionfish, guys. Stay away from it. It's venomous. <gasps> hmm, but the mimic octopus mimics other animals. What if that's a mimic octopus pretending to be a lionfish? <gasps> it's the Mimic Octopus! Quick, it's getting away! That was not a real lionfish, Farah. It's the Mimic Octopus. Are you sure? I don't want to write it down, then cross it out later. I'm absolutely sure. We saw its transformation. It was amazing! <gasps> nice work, guys. You found the octopus. Lionfish. What else does it mimic? We're following the octopus right now. Uh-oh, the mimic octopus could be anything. Hmm, I wonder. What are you doing, Katie? Done. I just installed a scanner from my computer. We can identify animals and plants now. Let's try it out. That's a clownfish. And that's seaweed. Huh? It says here that the coral is human. Is there something wrong with the program? Hello, Junior Ranger. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? <laughs> Ranger Rocky? Really? The Mimic Octopus is mimicking him? Ranger Rocky. No, no. We found Ranger Rocky. Another false alarm. Ugh. What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I was practicing my mimicry by pretending to be a coral. What are you rangers doing here? We're trying to find out what creatures the mimic octopus mimics. We just saw it mimicking the lionfish. Ah, the master of disguise. While the mimic octopus is not venomous, it is able to mimic other creatures that are venomous. By doing that, the octopus tricks others into thinking it's venomous and protects itself from danger. So, we should look out for venomous creatures. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Where did he go? His mimicry worked. But now we have a mimic octopus to find. <laughs> What's that, Hero? A snake. Be careful. It looks dangerous. <sighs> I wonder... Aha! The Mimic Octopus is pretending to be a snake! A snake? Let me see! 
Here, Farah. It's not just any snake. That's a banded sea crate, a venomous sea snake that lives in this area. It's on the move again. Now it's mimicking a jellyfish. Jelly. Now it's a, oh, a banded soul. A banded soul. It's a stingray. Banded soul. Stingray. Soul. Band ray. Jellyfish. Sting jelly. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Arr. What is it? Turkey. A turkey. What? I think it's a turkey. Turkeys don't live in the ocean, Leo. A special underwater turkey? Huh? Now it's walking. <laughs> what about a duck? Ducks don't live in the ocean either. I agree. That's obviously not a duck. Farah, you're here. I had to see this for myself. Besides, my handbook was getting very messy. Oops, sorry. I still think it's a turkey. Nah, it looks like an underwater mushroom to me. Oh, oh, fried chicken. How about some algae? An underwater furball? <laughs> Just take a closer look, guys. It's obviously a... Wait, where did the octopus go? It's disguised itself again. Could it be that rock? I'll use my scanner. That's a rock. That's a rock, too. Still rock. Or that seaweed? The ocean floor? It could be anything. The mimic octopus is amazing. I'm glad we managed to see his awesome transformations. Yeah, and it's great that we helped Farah too. Or at least we tried to. <laughs> Why is my hat walking? Hero, what are you doing? <laughs> I think he wants to play the guessing game. <gasps> You're a Leo! <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Do you see her, Leo? No. I hope Farah's okay. Me too. She wanted us to come right away. <sighs> Did you hear something? You're here! Farah! Farah! Ugh! Seaweed! Where's my handbook? Ah, here it is! We got your message about an intense fight underwater. Are you okay? What happened? I'm okay, but it's chaotic down there. They're still fighting. Let's go stop them! No! It's too dangerous! I barely escaped! Who or what is having that fight? Is it a shark? A giant squid? A shark fighting a giant squid? It's worse. I can't even bring myself to tell you what they are. Whoa. <laughs> Let's find out exactly what we're dealing with from a safe distance. Hero, can we use your camera? Good idea, Leo. I'll help control it with my tablet. Okay, now let's see what we've got. I don't see anything. Just a little to the left? Hmm, try going to the right instead. There, there they are! What, where? Go closer! Going closer. Huh? Shrimps? shrimps? Angry, fighting shrimps. That's it. I thought they'd be bigger. What exactly are they? Let's find out. These are no ordinary shrimps. Peacock mantis shrimps are a type of crustacean. That means they have hard outer shells. Are they dangerous? Farah's right. They may be small, but mantis shrimps can be aggressive. They're armed with special weapons of their own. There are two types of mantis shrimps, the smashers and the spearers. Smashers have front claws that are tipped 
with something that looks like a hammer. These shrimps pack a punch. They use their hammer-like claws to smash things. Spearers have sharp points at the end of their claws, like a little spear. They use that to poke things. Are peacock mantis shrimps smashers or spearers? Oh no, they're at it again. Whoa, that was fast. But if we slow the footage down, we can see that peacock mantis shrimps are... Smashers! No, no, no! According to my handbook, chapter four, page two, animals shouldn't be smashing each other! Don't worry, Farah. We'll break up the fight. <gasps> oh no! The camera! <laughs> it's okay, Hero. I'll get it back for you. Ugh, I can't see a thing. The camera is not responding. G -g guys, shark! <laughs> Make that two sharks! Let's get out of here. <laughs> Hurry, Leo, they're gaining on us. Where did they go? Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Not now, Shark. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. You saved us. You're welcome, Leo. Where's that camera? Looking for this? Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Ah, oh, they totally destroyed the camera. Cheer up, hero. It's nothing I can't fix. But I can't believe that tiny little mantis shrimp was strong enough to break glass. Mantis shrimp? We're trying to break up a fight between two mantis shrimps. Now that's a tough one. Mantis shrimps are fierce fighters, and they don't start a fight with just anyone. They tend to size up their opponents and pick fights they think they have a chance of winning. A chance of winning. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky. Maybe we can stop their fight with a mantis shrimp they can't beat. What do you mean, Leo? Let's turn Platypus One into a giant mantis shrimp. When those tiny mantis shrimps see how big it is, they'll be so scared that they'll forget all about their fight. Are you sure you want to do that? What if the mantis shrimp breaks something? Don't worry, Farah. I think Platypus One can take on a couple of shrimpy shrimps. Okay, guys, let's turn Platypus One into an unbeatable mantis shrimp monster. According to my handbook, chapter three, page four, how to look like a mantis shrimp, these are the items we're going to need. These seaweeds will make Platypus One as colorful as the mantis shrimp. Hero. I found some branches for the antenna. Hero, you can let go now. Hmm, how should I secure this branch? By tying a knot, of course. According to my handbook, chapter three, page one, there's a reef knot, a figure eight knot, a bowline, a half hitch, a rolling hitch, a clove hitch, a square knot, a fisherman's knot, a water knot, a timber hitch, a taut line hitch, two half hitches, presenting Shrimpzilla. Hmm, something is missing. <laughs> Huh? A flotation device? Oh, someone must have littered. That's horrible. We should not be littering. Hmm, it's wrong to litter, but I know how we can reuse this. Can't have a peacock mantis shrimp without its smasher. Shrimpzilla is perfect now. Then let's go break up that fight. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Ready, Farah? Yeah! Now! Rawr! 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 It's working! We got their attention! Good job, 
Farah. I'm bringing us closer. Roger that, Leo. Rawr, shrimps, break it up, break it up! Huh? huh? Why are they swimming towards us? Ah! <laughs> cool, they're working as a team now. That's right, go home. No more violence for you two. Yes, we got the shrimps to stop fighting and work together. That's great for them, but not for us. Look! Uh-oh, time to get out of here. Hang on tight, Farah. <sighs> we made it out alive. I'll never underestimate shrimps again. Are you okay back there, Farah? Rawr! Rawr! Oops, I mean, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to stop those mantis shrimps. Now let's go fix that broken window and camera lens. I'll get the super glue. Super glue? How about some tape? Are you the one with glasses? Or am I the one with glasses? Super glue will fix a broken glass. I think we should try using tape. No, super glue. Mm, tape. Super glue. Tape. Super Good glue job, tape. children. Super you are amazing, tape. wildlife tape. rangers. Tape. It looks tape. like mantis tape. shrimps aren't the only ones super who fight. Tape. <laughs> super glue. Tape. <laughs> Good boy. Fetch, hero. Nice throw, Katie. But watch this. My turn. I'm gonna throw it super far. Are you ready, hero? Get ready to run. <laughs> Did you see that? It's gonna take hero a while to find the ball. That was a pretty good throw, Leo. But you're no match for hero. How did he? But the ball flew so far. You're such a good boy. Good boy, hero. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's up? Hi, Leo. You won't believe what I just found on the beach. An enormous crab leg. It's way longer than me. Here, I took a photo of it. Whoa. An enormous crab leg? What's it doing on the beach? Hmm. I can run the photo through the computer to look for more information. That'd be awesome. See you later, hero. There it is! It seems the giant crab leg belongs to the Japanese spider crab. The Japanese spider crab is one of the world's largest crab. Its body is about the size of a basketball, and it has the longest legs out of all the other crabs. From claw to claw, it can measure over three meters. That's about two of you, Leo. Whoa! It also says here that Japanese spider crabs can live up to 100 years. Wow, that's amazing. Did you hear that, Kai? The leg you found belongs to a Japanese spider crab. Spider? Oh. I hope it doesn't look like one. I don't like creepy crawlies too much. No worries, Kai. It's a crab, not a spider. Well, I don't see any spiders or crabs around. I hope the crab is all right. Me too, Katie. We should find it and make sure it's okay. It would be shellfish of us to ignore the situation. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come over to look for the crab. Okay, see you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. All right, let's go search for the Japanese spider crab. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we go! go. We're here, but 
but I don't see Kai around. Hey, guys. Wow. wow. Thanks for coming, guys. That's the longest leg I've ever seen. Where did you find it, Kai? Right there by the rock. Whoa. Careful, Kai. Huh? What's that? <gasps> Leo, what are you doing over there? Are you okay, Leo? <laughs> I'm all right. Oops, did I hit you with a leg? Sorry, I wasn't looking. No worries, Kai, but you need to be careful with that. It says here that Japanese spider crabs live on the ocean floor in deep waters. Hmm, the leg must have washed ashore. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get into our scuba gear and dive underwater to look for it. Great idea, Leo. I really hope it doesn't look like a spider. Platypus One, activate. <laughs> hey, Japanese spider crab, where are you? We have your leg. I don't think that's going to work, Kai. Then how are we going to find it? Uh, guys? <gasps> I think it found us. It's huge! Look, it's missing a leg. This must be the crab we're looking for. Hmm, I wonder if we can put its leg back. Don't worry, spider crab. We're just trying to put your leg back on. That way, you'll have all your legs again. Are you sure that's how crabs work, Leo? It's a perfect fit. That doesn't look very perfect to me. But the crab can't go around with a missing leg. Hmm. If only we could make it a new one. <gasps> Good idea, Katie. We can do that. I can't believe I didn't think of it earlier. We can make an entirely new crab leg. We can make it even stronger than the current leg. <gasps> we can help the crab move faster. We can have it shoot lasers. It's going to be awesome. Let's go. Uh, guys, <laughs> I'm not too sure about the lasers. We did it! The new mechanical crab leg is good to go! Great job, Rangers! <laughs> I can't wait for the crab to try it on! Let's go! <laughs> wow! <gasps> Leo, where did he go? <sighs> Not again. Huh? Where's the spider crab? It was right here before we left. <laughs> Look, it's over there! Don't worry, we made you a new leg this time. It's a perfect fit. Maybe we should stop using the word perfect all the time. I don't get it. Why didn't it work? What did we do wrong? What if we get something to tie the leg to the crab? Let's look for something we can use. Probably not seaweed. Ah! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. Sorry to scare you, Leo. What are you guys doing in the depths of the ocean? We found a Japanese spider crab with a missing leg. So we made it a brand new mechanical one. But it doesn't fit. Wow, that's an amazing invention. Great work, Junior Rangers. But there's no need to worry. It's common for Japanese spider crabs to lose their long legs. Fortunately, they can survive without a leg or two, or even three. Like other crabs, when the Japanese spider crab grows too big for its shell, they lose it to make way for a new shell to grow. This is known as molting. Japanese spider crabs sometimes grow new legs when they molt. So, the crab will do just fine without the mechanical leg. Phew, I'm glad it's going to be all right after all. 
Be careful, hero. We don't want the crabs to lose any more legs. <laughs> I think he likes hero. Hmm. Uh, can I keep the mechanical leg, Kai? I have an idea. Of course, Katie. It'd be shellfish of me to keep it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's Hero? Hero! Hero! Where are you? Huh? Over there! <laughs> Hero! Like I said, the crab will do just fine without the mechanical leg. I'm glad the Japanese spider crab will continue to live happily despite its missing leg. Are you ready, Hero? What are you doing with the leg, Katie? You'll see. Fetch, Hero. Whoa, now that's far. Good luck, Hero. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers.